Actually, this game was originally in the arcades, so it actually does feel pretty good to play it with a with a joystick, so not bad. You played Rambo on stream? I don't know if I played Rambo. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna post the uh, the link to the game list again. So if anyone would like to request a game that's on this cart, please do so. And uh, please give me the number because this thing is not alphabetically listed at all. That was close. That was close. How come this level doesn't have a POW? I need my POW. And I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me on my birthday. You guys could be anywhere, but you're here, so I appreciate that. Whoa. Okay. I don't think... I wanna, are the colors off in this game? Because I don't think that crab is supposed to be pink, is it? I think the angry crab is blue, isn't it? I don't know. I waste... Oh, I thought the POW resets every level. No, the fireballs. But it's it's you know you're you're an NES fan when you notice those things, right? It's like wait a minute, the color is off. Wait a minute, the sound is off. You know, people who had never played this, how would they know, you know? All the momentum is like freaking ice climbers. No! Yeah, thanks for being here, Brandon. Oh, that was close. Oh, I got rid of that fireball. That was nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No. That was close. Oh, did you see that? That hit me when the the crab was in the pipe. That should not have hit me. That was a glitch. I'm gonna rage quit. Did you see that? That fireball just went right through me. See, the hit detection is so random. It's not, um... Not reliable at all. No! I've played the Atari 2600 port, and it's not bad. I have not played the Commodore 64 version. Of oh, these things, I don't know. What? Okay, that didn't hit.
I've played this many times, so I'm actually pretty good at it. Uh, I, uh, I love that they put this on the Game Boy Advance games. They put this on Super Mario Advance 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they even put it on uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. So if you had any of those games, like one friend could have one of those games, another friend could have another kind of game, and you could still link up and play. And that's I think that was awesome. Because the problem with playing multiplayer on Game Boy is it was rare to find somebody that had the exact same game that you had. So they solved that problem with Mario Brothers, and I just thought that was genius. I wish they had done that with other games. Yeah, this is Mario before he became Super. And then people get confused. Like, when you say Mario Brothers, they think you're talking about Super Mario Brothers. And you're like, no, we're talking about Mario Brothers. Whoa, green crab. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Whoa. Angry crab. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what's awesome about Super Mario 3. Uh, at any time, you could challenge the second player and play Mario Brothers. I love that. Yeah, that was a really cool feature. No! This game actually plays really well with a joystick. I'm surprised. I mean, yeah, it was originally an arcade game, so it would, but I've never played it, I think. I'm not using my POW because now I know. I thought that POW respawns and it doesn't. Yeah, I've always been partial to Luigi because he's the underdog, you know. Mario gets all the fame and... Remember the description of Luigi in, um... The Luigi statue in Super Smash Bros. Melee? It said, Luigi has pale skin because he's always in Mario's shadow. And I'm like, that is the coldest thing I've ever heard. That is really cold. How dare you, Nintendo? How could you? Freezy! And like, the, they always play up how Luigi is always number two. He's always player two. He's never number one. Always in Mario's shadow. Yeah, this this feels really good playing this game with uh, the NES Advantage. Oh, run, Mario! I'm actually getting pretty far in this. I didn't expect that. I wasted that. Why did I do that? Run! Oh, damn. Freezy! Yeah, it is funny that they were just... It was just a palette swap. And then it wasn't until, um... I think it was in... Lost Levels, Mario Brothers 2, they gave him different attributes where he could, he, he did uh, slide a little bit and he jumped higher. And then it wasn't until Super Mario 2, the US version, that they made his sprite look different. And yeah, his moveset is pretty much the same, yeah. So I lasted pretty long. <laughs> look at that. that, that coloring is way off. Look at that. That is not how Luigi looks in Mario Brothers. 
it does not look like that. But that's funny. 